Hello everybody. Uh, today we're going to be doing a video about stroker cranks for the GY6 uh, ranging from 150cc or even 125cc all the way up to whatever you bore it out to, you know, all the way up to 232. So you may be wondering why we have cylinder kits and chain guides and all these other parts. Well, we'll get into that here shortly. But the, basically, the reason they're out is because when you change the stroke, that is the up and down portion of when your engine's running. When you change the stroke, you're going to uh, make it to where your piston is going to collide with the top of the cylinder. Or it even collides on the downstroke and the bottom of your piston will wind up hitting all kinds of stuff the camshaft plunger and the crankshaft or excuse me not the crankshaft but the uh actual engine block so you got to be careful what you're doing okay and that's why they're up so let's get into this shall we basically what i have here is a collection of uh strokers starting at three millimeters four millimeters five millimeters all three of these are taiwan kits that i don't really have a name brand for they're just one's called uh speed power and i think these are motor speed or something like that but they're just labeled as taiwan kits and basically they're generic kits and then right here we have the ncy 2.2 millimeter over here we have the hoka 2.5 and in these packages right here, we have what some would consider to be the absolute best in the world you could get for any performance parts. Tata Stroker Cranks. We have their entire lineup ranging from the 3mm, 3.5mm, 6.6mm, and plus 8.2. The 8.2, that's a very special stroker. Same thing with the 6.6. .6. You can only run them in certain combinations, and that's why this is out, and this is out, and those are out, and that's what we'll get into in a little bit. So, let's get these out of the package, shall we? And we'll see what they look like. Alright, so here we go. I got them all out of their package, and we're going to talk about some of the differences here. When you increase the stroke or the piston sides, you wind up increasing the displacement. Bigger piston, extended stroke, you're gonna uh, wind up with a bigger bored out engine, a bigger displaced engine. Well, when you add these, you can, as mentioned earlier, wind up destroying your motor if you don't pick the right components. Now, here, up here, what we have, this is a Hoka, and the Hoka is 2.5 millimeters. Now, the good thing about that is, that's the max tolerance that I found on a stock size 150. You know, if you got a motor that's got the typical 157 QMJ stamp, this will work in there without any other kind of modifications depending upon which cam you have. Changing your cam can uh, change how much your valves open and you can wind up smacking into your uh, top of your piston if you have the wrong combination. So this video is really more of just a guide. You know, you're always going to want to check your tolerances before you start your motor. Get your build assembled and with the spark plug over, Turn the crankshaft assembly over. Make sure nothing's binding or hitting. So, but what I've found in my experience, the 2.5 works without any modifications. And over here, we have NCY slash Prima. Well, that's a 2.2, and that also works without any modifications. Now, they're both pretty good crankshafts. However, if you take a look, at the I don't know if you can really see it side by side here but this is a Tata stroker crank and this is the Hoka that's the NCY over over there 
Well, if you look at them, the piston rod is a heavier gauge. It's wider right here down the entire base. There's absolutely no slop at all in right here as opposed to some of these other ones that are Taiwan made uh, that don't really have a manufacturer's label there is a slight bit of slop I don't know if you can see that in the video or not not much I mean it's very slight but up here at the top it's more predominant you can really feel it I don't know how much that will matter so, but anyways, that was one thing I wanted to point out, that in addition to the different sizes, you're also going to be looking at different quality. Tata products will always be stamped, like this one right here, Tata 3 point, or 3500 or whatever that is right there, 350M, made in Taiwan with the Tata stamp. Tata products will always be stamped. Tata inscribes every one of their products. Here's the 6.6. .6. It's got the inscription. And this is the 8.8. .8. And somewhere on here, yeah, right down there, is your Tata inscription. Now, when you're using these, we've covered the smaller ones that don't require any modifications. Next up, we get into the range of... 3 and 3.5 and 4. Now, the sizes that I'm talking about, they're millimeters. And I'm talking about the amount of extended stroke that you're going to be adding to this motor. Now, when, when you do that, now remember what I said. Each motor is different and you're going to want to check tolerances on everything. However, you can use a 3 and 3.5 if you do one of two things they have a spacer like this one right here this is very skinny it's 1.3 millimeter Kata also makes one this is two millimeter thick using those will allow you to use these without having to worry about the downstroke with a 3 and a 3.5 you're not going to collide now over here we have the Taiwan 4 millimeter I am uncertain about that one. I have never got to test this in an assembly yet, but you will definitely want to check your downstroke in addition to your upstroke, even if you are using a spacer. So, but in my experience, that's what I know. If you want to go with the 2.2, uh, 2.5, you're good to go. If you want to go with the 3 or 3.5, you only need to worry about the upstroke, and you can either go with a small spacer, or over here, what these Tata bigger uh, 3.5 and 3 millimeter are actually for, are for Tata brand cylinders, which are actually a different height. A stock size cylinder is 68 millimeter. I'm talking about from here to here. It's 68 millimeter. Over here, this is a Tata. This is 69.3 from here to here. Basically, it has this built in it. This is where a spacer goes. In between here and your motor block. It allows the clearance. This over here is a monster. It's 75.2 millimeters from the bottom to the top. Now, this is what you use on the big boys on the 232s and you know 200 cc plus well it's taller to allow for the bigger cro or <laughs> croaks the bigger strokes like the 6.6 .6 and the 8.2 over here this is this one right here is a taiwan six millimeter kit it's actually a really nice kit if you can see on the side here this this is almost as thick as the tata rod it doesn't have no play in there well maybe a little bit not much not nearly as bad as this three millimeter back here so but anyways i'm getting distracted that's what the different size cylinders are for when you're going with a six or eight point two you're going to want to go with the bigger cylinder or they have what you see right here is the even bigger spacers which is a six millimeter spacer 
Now, if you use one of these, there are certain things you have to take into consideration. When you mount the block, or the cylinder to the block, these holes right here, you're going to have dowel pins. Right here. These dowel pins are basically for alignment. And they hold the whole assembly together. But when you're assembling them, these little holes right, right where my thumb is, you're going to have it go in there. Now, when you put one of these spacers on here, such like so, see, is what happens is you make it taller, and one of these stock size dowel pins will not be long enough and will lead to premature failure. So, you have to get these. I'm not going to pull them out because I keep them in oil so they don't rust. Uh, but they're 20 millimeters long and they are long enough to go up into both the cylinder and down into the engine, including your little spacer. So, that's one thing you have to take into consideration is your extended dowel pins. You can find these in our store at shop.martinmopeds. Okay, so something else you have to take into consideration here. When you extend the stroke, ah, when you extend the stroke on one of these motors, you will find that the uh, original stock uh, chain guides no longer come all the way up to the top of the chain. And is what you'll have is you'll have slop. Because the plunger, or cam tensioner, whatever you want to call it, will not properly apply the, the right amount of pressure on the chain. And you will have chain slippage issues and a bunch of other things. So, to compensate, I've seen what a lot of guys do is they use manual cam tensioners. Where basically, they get rid of the spring loaded and it basically looks like a bolt that sticks through the cam tensioner. And it may or may not work. However, the proper way to do it is you get these right here, Tata Celsius. They are extended uh, chain guides. They're 23.5 millimeters or something like that, as opposed to where stock is close to 22.5. They're like a centimeter different or something. And you have one for the other side. However, that's the way you deal with your chain guide. So when you're using these taller cylinders, or even something like the four valve head, something that changes to where you're going to need one of the different chains, which that's another issue we'll touch on right now, is uh, you're going to have to make sure your chain guides are long enough for your longer chains. Now, right here, this came in the package for this 6.6 millimeter uh, stroker crank. Came with a spacer and studs. This is the other consideration you have to consider. When you use the longer cylinders extended and you're going with the bigger stroke, you're going to want to make sure you have longer studs, longer chain. It's going to have to reach up to the top of the engine. Now, when you purchase Tate from Tata, Tata has everything uh, marketed together that tells you what works with what. For example, if you buy the 6.6 millimeter, there's a chart that tells you you're going to have to buy X size studs, X link chain, and what size cylinder you're going to need. Tata has got an incredible system. You can see it on our store at shop.martinmopeds.com. Uh, you know, it's very complete and thorough. And it will tell you what works with what. Instead of just blindly buying parts and, you know, trying to slap them together. So, to summarize here, let's recap on what we basically went over. If you're wanting to go with a stroker and not wanting to go crazy big, simplest mod is the Hoka and the NCY, both at one, one's at 2.2. Sorry about that, I got interrupted with the telephone call. Continuing on with the recap, 
2.2, 2.5, Hoka and NCY, you don't really have to modify anything else. It's pretty much plug and play. However, you will want to verify that. 3, 3.5, and possibly 4, all you need is a spacer. Double check your clearance on the downstroke and, you know, double check, you know, top. But in most cases, all you need is a small spacer to go with 3, 3.5, or 4. Sometimes you might have to modify the bottom of the piston or modify your valleys deeper for your valves. But that's why I keep telling you to check. Now, remember, when you start getting into the taller things where you need spacers and, uh, you're going above four millimeters. Once you get over here to the six millimeter, 6.6 .6 or eight, you're, you're gonna have to go with the other modifications, which are your extended chain guides, which allow your manual, your uh, spring-loaded cam tensioner to work. You're gonna wanna make sure you get the proper length studs, proper length chain. You gotta make sure all this mates up together. You won't have the proper tension. You won't be able to get your engine properly timed so I think that about covers it you got the 2.2 2 2.5 3.5 and 8.2 now as far as I know let me make a special note on these Tatas right here as far as I know the 8.2 is the absolute biggest you can go with I haven't found a crank that's bigger than that for the GY6-150. Uh, but if you're going to use it, you have to take in other considerations, such as a taller cylinder and all that. Same thing with the 6.6. .6. And then they got the 3 and 3.5. Tata, their, their products are absolutely second to none. You can consider this other stuff. You know, it's kind of like a... Fiero compared to a Ferrari or Camaro versus Lamborghini. Really, there is no comparison. Hoka is just absolute top of the line, and I recommend their products for any build. However, if you're trying to do it on a budget, totally get that too, and you always have your other choices because, of course, you know, with quality, you're going to pay. Tata does cost a little more. So, anyways, I hope this uh, helps you. Uh, clarify things when you're out there looking to make a purchase for your own stroker it you know really depends on how far you want to go with your mods you know on what you want to do what you want to build it into so 2.2 2.5 really you don't got to do anything except slap it in 3 3.5 use your spacer 4 that's one i haven't used and i can't really give you too much info on 6 6.5 and or 6 6.6 8.2 you have to make sure you have the taller cylinder taller spacer studs chain you will find the studs come in many different lengths you know to cover every scenario you're never going to have to fabricate your own we have all of them posted on our store if you want to talk about any of this if you have any questions or i missed something uh, you can always get a hold of me through YouTube, but it's always best to get a hold of me on my forum at www.dansgaragetalk.com. That's dansgaragetalk.com. Uh, basically, it's not just me. You know, I have a whole team of really, really good expert members that uh, can really help you with just about any kind of question you have for a Chinese scooter in the 50cc and the 150cc category so you know check us out at the forum uh if you have any questions about this or leave a comment in the youtube section and you guys have a good one oh and also you can check out my uh services that we offer at martinmopeds.com thanks for watching guys and gals and i hope you learned what you were looking for in watching this video have a good one. D Martin 95 and I am out.